Yeah, absolutely. So, so, you know, when it comes to the plant thing, the specimens, you have, you have to be careful on a couple things. You have to be careful on the scale, and you have to be careful that it goes with the other plants that you're doing. So, for instance, um, you're not going to have a tropical plant next to an evergreen tree. Right. You know, right. you're, you're not going to do that. Because unless the story you're reading calls for that, you know, if you're doing Jack and the Bean Store, then you're open to anything. But then again, you know, you have if to, it's an English garden, it's like a closed right. garden. It's an English garden, right. 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 You're not going to introduce right. cactus. Right. 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 You know. So there, there are certain limitations. So there has to be the accuracy to the right. But the, the Talensias, which I love, which are the ear plants, um, the reason I love them is they don't need water and I can use them as head pieces and I can use them as accent plants and they're very fine. They don't, they're not, they're not in your face, you know. But, but the other thing is like when I, when I did the azalea, I found a pot of azaleas at the supermarket and they were not blooming, which is what I wanted. I just wanted the buds. And I got home and took them apart. I had six separate trees. So I divided each one up into a pot so that it meant I had six trees. And if one started to 